Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be doing some work in my traveller's notebook with you. A little bit of creative journaling with some watercolours as well. I'm going to be starting a new creative journal, a new traveller's notebook. These are made by Joe from Little Rainbow Moon. I will link Joe up below. They're absolutely beautiful. I bought them off her stall at Anna's Planacon. Um, if you aren't familiar with Anna's Planacon, I will link up that video below for you as she has them yearly and they're really really lovely places to go and meet other creative people so I bought these with the thought of our upcoming trip this summer in mind and I'm going to be documenting my summer bucket list today I did it last year I filled out a bucket list I actually got each member of the family to fill out a bucket list before we went away just to really have a think about what we wanted to do this summer and then we actually referred back to the bucket lists whilst we were away just to make sure we were actually trying to do everything on our list. It sounds really silly, but like for example, we went to New York a few years ago. We forgot to look at the skyline at night time. I know that sounds silly. We were in Times Square one evening and obviously we saw all the lights, but we completely forgot to go and have a look at the rest of New York at night, like to see Empire State Building and things like that. It just completely slipped our mind and it wasn't until we got home. So some things sound, yep, yeah, you're, you're definitely going to do them and then you just forget something. So I like to have a summer bucket list. Plus it's a really good way of documenting or journaling in your journal as well. So it's just an easy way to add some journaling. So that's what I'm going to be doing on my page today. I really hope that you enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. So these are the traveller's notebooks that I'm going to be using for this year's trip. Um, I thought that the colours were beautiful and especially with us going to California where you've got the forest, you've got the mountains, hopefully lots of blue sky, that would be perfect. And then I'm planning to use this one for the Disney trips and again I think the colours are absolutely spot on. I do like to add a little bit of watercolour quite often in my pages so I thought this way that would really work for me. But um, I also like the contrast of having the bright white on those pages as well I think it goes really nice so today we're going to be doing summer bucket list these are the lists that come in the June kit um, you can also download if you are a subscriber there's a code for free you can also download if you aren't a subscriber there's just a small cost um, I will give you that link below so you can go and take a look and obviously then you can print out as many of these as you wish so um, let's get started. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I know I'm not going to use that first page and we're going to go straight on to here. I want to use the July on my page so I'm going to cut that out. I think I might cut that bit out as well but I want to create a pocket um, just so I can keep these summer bucket lists because we printed them out last year. We each printed one out in the family, just things that we really wanted to do and see over the summer trip. And they're just really, really nice to look back on. And um, you can also then keep the list with you and just make sure that you are doing everything that you hoped that you would as well. And they make perfect for um, journaling sheets too. So let's get, I think, cutting these out and we'll see where the page goes from there. Even if you don't use the calendar pages, you can still cut them up and use the design on the papers. Now to make my pocket, I'm going to keep this super, super easy. I do actually really like that all the way across there but that's probably not going to work um i'm actually going to do something different i think i am going to keep i do really like that page on there i'm going to fold it in half and i think stick this across the middle there so i'm going to stick that on i've left a small edge across the bottom there like that i'm going to use this as my pocket which I will then fold these in half and they can be secure. Or I could use a glassine envelope actually, that might be an idea. I had an idea. I love the glassine envelope, but I don't want to fold the bucket lists that way. I really like the idea of having the title there. So I'm actually going to use these as a pocket, but I'm going to cut it down. I think I'll do that instead. So let's cut it like this so that way I can still see the design 
through. I like that idea. I always keep these envelopes when I receive them in anything. Let's cut that down the side. You can do this with paper bags as well. It will work just the same way to create a pocket. Like that. Yes, I like that idea. And then we'll stick down at the very back. And then what I'm going to do, I should have maybe stuck it to the edge. I'm just going to trim down the edge that side so that it sits in there nicely. And the other thing which I think I will do, I really wanted to be able to read the bucket list there. I'm going to trim down the glassine bag again so that I can read the very top. There we go. And they actually fit in there really nicely now. I'm really pleased with that. And I've just slightly trimmed the edges. Trim down some of the dots and I'm going to add that to the page. I have some there. I always like things to kind of match. And at the top there as well, I think. The dotty strip top and bottom. I'm going to use the flowers that I cut out before. Let's put these on the bottom there. And I'm going to add the stamp from this month's kit. So that's the stamp. It's so cute. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to stamp it fully in the ink. Let's remove those. And we're just going to randomly stick it on like that. We're going to be getting out the watercolours soon. Going to pop that on there. Right, so I've just had another idea. This always happens when I create. I've used the glassine bag, but actually, do you know what you could also use? The tissue paper from the kit. You could so easily just fold it over, use a little bit of double-sided sticky tape on like three edges, cut it down, and you've got a pocket to whatever size you wanted. Obviously, I've already used the glassine envelope, but I really like the dots on there. Actually, do you know, I really like it going over. That looks so nice. Um, but I am going to stick it on here. I'm going to cut it down to size stick this over the top because I like it so much. Some double-sided tape on the bag and I'm just going to lay, layer this over the top. Never be afraid to change your mind when you're making things. That looks really nice, doesn't it? I really want some on this side as well. Do you know what I would like to do? I'm going to take this off. This is the joy of working with double-sided sticky tape. If you like me, and let me know if you are, and always change your mind or you have new ideas as you're going along this way, you can just easily change your mind. So I'm going to tear this and cut this down to size. Does that work there? Yeah. This can then go back onto the page. I really like that. I have this thing about things tying in and that just pulls it all together nicely now. And then this can go back on again. I like that. Let's add a little bit more tape. There, that works really well now. The other thing I wanted to do, I've got a few stickers. I've actually got these, um, you can see they're really well used. These were from the um, April kit. So I will also link those up for you as well. Let's have that with that. This was one of the little word strips, the quote strips from the June kit. I will also link up the June kit for you as well. I think I've got about four or five left now. Um, they sold really well, so if you would like one, go and take a look. And let's pop the rainbow on there. Let's have a little sunshine as well. Hopefully it will be sunny this summer. And a little heart as well. This is really cute. So that's my page right now, and I'm now going to add a few watercolours. I've got a nice thin brush, and I'm going to keep with the colours of this kit. I will be going back over with um, a pen afterwards. So 
So I'm using watercolours, but obviously you can use anything. You could use pencils, felt tips, um, any type of markers, um, just whatever you've got to hand. to dry I'm going to get on with my summer bucket list. Now once dry I'm just going to go around the outside of my stamped images very roughly it's not going to be perfect at all you know I don't do perfect um, around the outside just to make it stand out and um, then I'm nearly done. So that's my finished page. I've gone around with the black pen and I've gone around the outside because I like to do that. And this is my finished um, wish list for our trip for um, 2019. Some of these do have a story, so um, I think I'm actually gonna do a bit of journaling about this. Um, for example, the Candy Cane Inn, that's a a like hotel in Anaheim in LA by Disney. My grandparents stayed in there in the 1980s. They're the ones that really, really got me into travel and they stayed there. There's a story behind it and my nan still talks about it now. My grandfather's sadly no longer with us and I really want to go there to take a photo to show her when we get back. So there's a few things that have kind of like a special meaning. Um, Alcatraz, I visited San Francisco in 1996 and the tours were all booked up so all I managed to do was to get a boat around the island and it's been on my bucket list ever since. So I've been desperate to go on the island. We've booked a tour. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So there's a few bits and pieces that do have a special meaning. And um, I think I'm going to journal along to go with that. Everybody else's bucket lists here ready to fill out so they can all go in there too. And I think I'm going to do my journaling actually on here um, afterwards for my little stories. Actually, that needs to be trimmed down, doesn't it? Now fit, that's better. Just added a final sticker and that's my finished page. So as you've just seen, that's the finished page. I do like a colorful page. I do like to add a little bit of doodling. So I'm really happy with this. And I'm really happy that I've got my summer bucket list now in my journal and I'm going to be getting the rest of the family to do theirs as well. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video today. Have you ever filled out a bucket list too? Like just a simple bucket list, even if you're not going away, just some things that you'd like to do this summer. Go to the coast, have a picnic have cocktails in the evening with friends sat in your garden. It can be really, really simple things, a pub lunch, a nice walk, a visit to the woods, anything like that. Make a summer bucket list and it's just a really, really fun thing to do and then document your stories afterwards. I really, really recommend it. Like I said, I'll leave the link below. If you don't get the kit, you can still go and download the summer bucket list. So it's something that you can use each year and use it time and time again. Let me know if you're going to be doing a summer bucket list as well. I would love to know and let me know as well. Leave your comment below and let me know what's on your list this summer. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it today. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and don't forget to leave me a comment below as well. Please subscribe if you are new and you can also find me on Instagram. My personal account, which is where you will be seeing our trip photos this summer, is the funky fairy and the business account for all my crafty things is lollipop box club please remember to share this video if you think a family member or friend would enjoy it as well it also really really helps my channel out and i really really appreciate that thank you so much have a wonderful rest of the week and i will see you in a couple of days i'm doing a poundland shop i had a really really good shopping trip last week um so i'm really excited to share that with you Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.